Sometimes the best place to start is at the beginning. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 origin story movies. Hello, kiddo. For this list, we're looking at movies that depict the backstories of key characters or concepts in franchises. However, we're omitting the first Harry Potter movie because his story was ongoing throughout the series. I'm Ron, by the way. Ron Weasley. I'm Harry, Harry Potter. We're also excluding movies like the Batman and Spider-Man franchises, since we're giving superhero origin story movies a list of their own. I beg your pardon? One's missing. Yeah. Huh. I guess the researchers are working on that one. Number 10. The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. You've changed. I'm not entirely for the better, Bilbo Beckins. I'm sorry, do I know you? Before Frodo and the Fellowship, there was a hobbit who just wanted to stay in Bag End. I can't just go running off into the blue. I am a Baggins of Bag End. In 2012, almost a decade after concluding his original trilogy, director Peter Jackson returned to Middle Earth to tell the prelude to The Lord of the Rings. Can you promise that I will come back? No. And if you do, you will not be the same. That's what I thought. In it, Wizard Gandalf recruits a reluctant hobbit named Bilbo Baggins to embark on a journey with a company of dwarves to reclaim the lonely mountain from the dragon Smaug. On their quest, they encounter elves, goblins, and a mysterious ring in the possession of a creature named Gollum. Nice! Oh, shut up! If Bilbo knew better, he should have just left that thing alone. But then, well, this wouldn't be an origin story now, would it? What have you lost? Number nine, Monsters University. And what about you with all your shedding? I don't shed. Really? If you thought these two were dysfunctional in the first movie, then you should have seen them in college. <laughs> Monsters University takes us back to when Harry first met Sally. Uh, we mean when Mike first met Sully during their formative years at the titular institution. Have a great first day! Hey, I'm Kay! Here's your orientation packet. Thanks, Kay. Although they initially begin their academic careers as bitter adversaries, their rivalry soon lands them in enough hot water that the two are forced to learn to work together if they ever hope to succeed. Reach deep down and let the scary out. Huh. Just feel it. Exactly. Reintroducing us to many of the characters we know and love from the previous film, Monsters U provided heartwarming context to the friendship that's at the core of this charming franchise. So long, so. So long. Number eight, Prometheus. Did you date it? 35,000 years, maybe older. Big things have small beginnings. Despite all the claims by director Ridley Scott, it's almost impossible to look at this movie as anything but an origin tale for the alien universe. Whatever that probe is picking up, it's not dead. It's reading life form. Several iconic elements from the franchise's four films are revisited, including facehuggers, the Wayland Corporation, and the space jockey, and even a new creature directly related to the xenomorph called the Deacon. Prometheus develops one of the most iconic science fiction universes of all time, with the same dependence on practical effects. <laughs> We give Scott and company major props for finally answering questions we've been asking since 1979. But we still wish we knew what the engineers actually did. Do you mind uh, telling us what they engineered? Number seven, Maleficent. Arise and stand with me! One of Disney's most loved animated films, Sleeping Beauty also happens to feature one of its greatest villains, Maleficent. Wings. I need you to be my wings. In 2014, this story was brought back to life in an entirely unexpected way, focusing not on Princess Aurora, but on the dastardly villainess, this time being portrayed in live action by Angelina Jolie. Listen well, all of you. The princess shall indeed grow in grace and beauty, beloved by all who meet her. 
Jolie is fantastic in the role, helping to tell the story of how Maleficent was originally a disgraced fairy and how she cursed the princess, the daughter of the man she used to love. No! Don't touch me! You're the evil that's in the world! It's you! As much a reimagining as it is an origin, this film is surprising, dark, and even heartwarming at times. There is an evil in this world, and I cannot keep you from it. Number six, Kill Bill, Volume Two. Are you calling me a superhero? You'd think the title would say it all. The second half of Quentin Tarantino's ode to martial arts and kung fu films builds on the world of the bride and shows us an as yet unseen part of her story. You and I have unfinished business. Baby, you ain't kidding. In Volume 1, the titular Bill is never shown on screen, but that changes in the opening of the sequel, when Tarantino flashes back to the bride's wedding and shows Bill and the deadly Viper assassination squad murdering her groom and leaving her for dead. Seeing the tragedy firsthand sheds new light on the bride's journey for vengeance and makes us hope even more that she actually gets to kill Bill. And when I arrive at my destination, I am gonna kill Bill. Number five, Hannibal Rising. Rudeness is epidemic, buddy. While Hannibal the Cannibal got a prequel of sorts with 2002's Red Dragon, we didn't truly find out how he became the killer with a taste for humans until 2007. He ate my sister. <laughs> so did you. This is the only film in the series to portray Hannibal as a sympathetic character, as well as the first one since 1986's Manhunter to not have him played by Anthony Hopkins, with the film instead opting for French actor Gaspard Ulliel. My studies are fascinating and absorb me completely. Yet I still find myself thinking about my sister and the men who took her from me. The film shows his evolution from a child scarred by World War II to a murderous madman, a journey that sees him become a cannibal and, of course, don his iconic face mask. Number four, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Caesar is home. In 2011, the legendary, but often cheesy and confusing ape franchise was given a modern makeover. These apes are smarter than you think! Let's go pick up a leader! <laughs> Starring James Franco as human lead Will Rodman and the amazing Andy Serkis in motion capture as Caesar, the film shows a world in which chimps evolved due to man's meddling with science, with Caesar eventually leading an ape revolution against humans. <laughs> Bolstered by Circus's performance and a smart screenplay, this outing in the series was a greater success than anybody thought it would be, providing a much needed new beginning for the franchise. Are you a pet? No. You're not a pet. Number three, Star Trek. Live long and prosper. By 2009, Gene Roddenberry's sci-fi universe seemed like it was never going to get a proper 21st century incarnation. Security, seal the engineering deck. We have intruders in turbine section three. Set phasers to stun. Then, director J.J. Abrams came along and decided to reboot the entire Enterprise, giving us the story of how Kirk, Spock, Uhura, and the rest of the crew originally came together. They called you a traitor. Emotions run deep within our race, in many ways more deeply than in humans. Actually, Star Trek has the unique distinction of being both an origin story movie and a reboot at the same time, thanks to some clever use of alternate timelines. But this ambitious concept is lent a fair amount of authenticity by the fan-pleasing appearance of the late, great Leonard Nimoy, reprising his role as Spock. Or Spock Prime, whatever. That is not my destiny. Your dest... He, the other Spock is not going to believe me. Only you can explain Under what the hell's no happening. Under no circumstances can he be made aware of my existence. You must promise me this. You're telling me I, I, I can't tell you that I'm following your own orders? Why not? What happens? Number two, Casino Royale. You don't trust anyone, do you, James? No. 
then you've learnt your lesson. It's hard to believe that the James Bond series went 44 years on the big screen without ever establishing a concrete origin for 007. <laughs> But in 2006, it was decided that the series would go back to basics and tell the story of Britain's most famous secret agent from the very beginning. You've got a bloody cheek. Sorry. I'll shoot the camera first next time. A modern update of Ian Fleming's first Bond novel, the film stripped 007 down to his bare bones, showing a Bond who had yet to earn his license to kill. Welcome, Martini. Chicken or stir? Do I look like I give a damn? Casino Royale shows him developing his taste for drinks, cars, and especially dangerous women. And it was one of the best action films of the decade to boot. I'm sorry. That last hand nearly killed me. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I'll get that big pile of gold and you can have a nice pile of bananas, all right? Bananas. Oh, I see. Because I'm a monkey, I must love bananas, right? <laughs> what do you want? Number one, The Godfather Part Two. Come on, son. What is your name? Tuo nome. Vito Andolini from Corleone. Corleone. Vito Corleone. How did Vito Corleone rise to power and become the head of the most powerful crime family in New York? This sequel fleshes out what is widely considered one of the greatest films of all time, exploring the Don's origins from his birth in Sicily to his journey to America. Hey, what do you think? God oh, bless America. We're gonna make a big business. What makes Vito's story truly extraordinary is that it's told in parallel to the story of Vito's son, Michael, showing the similarities and differences between the two mob bosses at different periods in time. I want to earn my family without you on my back. And I want those Lozano brothers dead. No. As Godfather author Mario Puzzo wrote, great men are not born great, they grow great. And that saying can also be applied to this seminal franchise. I don't feel I have to wipe everybody out, Tom. Just my enemies, that's all. Do you agree with our list? What do you think are the best origin story films? Yes. I came to collect the head. For more original top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Thrusters on standby. Take us out. Aye, aye, Captain.